that's gonna be the keystone to fixing shoulder impingement and uh, rotator cuff pain. Bone spurs are actually really common. So this is the scapula and this is your arm bone called your humerus. And this is the, the AC joint, the acromion. All right, it comes off of the scapula and the clavicle. All right, so this would be like a bone spur. It looks like a hook if it comes down like that. The reason why that can be an influence is one of the main rotator cuff muscles exits under here like this and attaches to the humerus right here like that. So imagine if somebody's raising their arm like this and this bone spur is here, it can cut in and fray that tendon over time. If you look over here, this is a scapula, right? And this is a better drawing that I could do. If somebody raises their arm overhead, the shoulder blade has to rotate with it. And if it's not rotating enough as you raise your arm overhead, the shoulder joint's gonna overcompensate. And the number one victim that gets irritated with that compensation pattern is the rotator cuff. They're not the problem. They're just the victim. So we have to get the scapula moving better. That's gonna be the keystone to fixing shoulder impingement and uh, rotator cuff pain.